with us throughout tonight. Bank Holiday One Show with Christine Blake and Adrian Charles and Glory B. Look who's with us. <laughs> What we better not a mess show. this show up. It's so <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> Easter's always been one of the busiest times of the year for the nation's circuses. But this year there's controversy brewing under the big top. A new government report suggests 94% of us are opposed to performing wild animals and want to see the practice banned. Some more traditional ringmasters beg to differ. We put Giles Brandreth in the middle of <laughs> Budgies in the circus. Budgies in the circus. Giles off at the circus. Hmm. Christine and I fancied a bit no. of a day trip this Easter, didn't Why we? Not? Why shouldn't yeah. we get away? Yeah, we couldn't risk going by road though in case there's heavy traffic. Or by train. Might be a last minute strike mm -hmm. or something. We needed a form of transport that would take us above all these problems. There was just one thing to do. With no time calling the shots. You know what I love to do with my holidays and I used to do it years ago with my parents? Go. Oh. How about next? What about there? Oh, Paris. There is. Over here. I want to be romanced in Paris, so. Oh, that. That far. There is no helicopter service. About there. That'll do me. Okay, driver. Margot. <laughs> Next thrilling instalment coming up shortly. <laughs> what it was. If you, uh, if you, if you just say this subliminally, the idea. If you didn't go out for the day today, chances are you're roped into doing a bit of DIY. A perfect time then for us to launch Phil Tufnell's new series on the design influences which shape the look of our buildings and the things we put in them. Tonight, Toffers looks at what it was the Egyptians did. <laughs> Budgies in the... Oh, good old Phil. <laughs> He's back all this week with uh, great British design influences. Uh, Omid, you're Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad, glad to... Uh, yeah. I'm glad to... A little nervous cough yeah. to this. We'll just have a little discussion whether we need to apologise for that while we have a look at the moment yes. in the uh, uh, you know discover your true identity Very funny. but there's, there's always been the yeah. it's, good. it's nervous uh, no you as well in the sort of central so you've got you've done loads of big parts but is, he's a top man we think he is your double and he is gorgeous i'll tell you arif smash over his head don't try this at home it kids is. definitely don't it is <laughs> very good <laughs> <laughs> and they're off <sighs> you just stay there all right <laughs> I, um, the film's out on front. Yes, if you needed any help. Yeah. To help. Yeah. And if you could find them, then maybe you could hire the A team. Mm -hmm. Well, we've decided to take a leaf out of the 80s Legends handbook by offering the services of our own band of grisly renegades for hire. We refer, of course, to the one. But to spring into action on behalf of a viewer in need. Oh, good old. Miranda's here. How can viewers get. Right. Now, on Friday, we had Jay Rayner telling us why we should eat rabbit. I disagreed. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> to balance things up, we've got some cute little bunnies. Get off that shot! <laughs> oh, off that. No, them, these bunnies. The, with me and animals in the studio. I'm afraid these bunnies are currently doing what bunnies are famous for: do. sweet ones. Okay. Here, sweet look, one. she's not interested. It's obvious. Story of us girls' lives. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Miranda. That's okay. Yeah. It's me and Anna for children, especially yeah. some muesli, which we all see in the pet shops. Which is you should be a rabbit tamer, yeah. Omid. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's oh. Oh, he's twitching. Oh, right, this one here you can see in there. There. <laughs> he's had a go at both of those other ones there. It's in... <laughs> all right. Uh, as well as Omid, we have with us another brilliant performer with us, the uh, wonderful singer-songwriter Paul Heatland, yeah. lead singer of the House Martins and beautiful. Miranda's here. How could... Time takes great, isn't it? But he's not here to talk about any of that. It's the first record he ever bought he wants to tell us about. Paul's here with you. I don't know, I'm a bit worried about you. You've kept this list in these little exercises mm -hmm. and, uh, and in it for every month. Listen to I just like your choice of exercise books, to be honest. <laughs> Simple pleasures. Talking of which, the rather complex pleasure of ours. Yeah, part two of tonight's telecopter adventure. Now, the story so far comes from Mr. Ahmed Jalili. Fig to some. Yes, that could be remembered. Oh, I love that. Would you like to go for a walk on that? Oh, I'd love to. But you could be no walking on piers. The sea. Left leg up, pout. My kind of holiday, really. Completely deserted beach and a football. If you weren't here, it'd be absolutely perfect. It just doesn't feel very easter -y. I want Easter bunnies, lambs, little bo What do we need for a really, really good Easter parade? I don't know, what do you think? We want a float. A float would be ideal. Where are we going to get one of them from, though? Whoa, 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 Could we borrow your seashells and everything? Yeah. Oh, great actor. I think you'd be a brilliant, cute little lamb. Do you want our Easter egg? How would these do you... Coming up. Don't go down the A254 to Ramsgate. Stay here Hello, for our Easter parade. 
Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> the final exciting instalment of Telecopter is coming up in a bit. <laughs> Easter is the holiest time of the church's calendar, obviously. Church attendances remain rather low. Prompting some believers to adopt an old strategy. If people won't come to us, we'll go out to them. Here's Armani Zayn on the work of... Time to well, the Reverend uh, Basil Mead. But you need kind of ratification from a rabbi who seems... Uh, hey, look about him. Out this Friday. The bank holiday weekend weather has been the usual mixed bag. At this time of the year, blowy April showers are never too far away. We thought it was a good excuse for Marty Jobson to test out the latest in radical, state-of-the-art, brolly technology. Well, so far this evening, we've had lions and tigers. We had the odd brolly there, invading mice and bunny rabbits. But on Bank Holiday Monday, we say you can't have too many animal tales. Here's Mike Dilcher with a great story of why we owe ferrets more than we really <laughs> That's fair, it's dealt with, but as an added bonus, Mike is on location for us this evening at the Natural History Museum, where he's... Thanks, Mike. Talking of the uh, majesty of flight, the three in conclusion to Telecopter now. <laughs> You'll remember we were attempting to put together our own bank holiday parade with the help of some people in Margate. Bewildered though they were, the casting was complete. It was time <laughs> to float our idea with the town. After parade. It was to the one show float. OK, my lovely little Easter character. The prize at the end of our little <laughs> float turns out. Oh, horribly, Paul. Hey. I think we've had a wonderful day. What a perfect Easter parade. We bought Isn't the sun, it? we yep. bought Easter to Margate. Lovely people, just one thing. How are we going to get back? Helicopter! Oh, what a day. There we have it. There we have it. Thank you to all the people of Margate. Yes, uh, great. Thank you, Dale, which opens on Friday. It's very funny. Tomorrow, we've got John Turoad and Greg Wallace from MasterChef. And thanks to the London Community Gospel Choir, the CD's out now. It's called Glorious Very Aptly. Take it away, folks. Show me the way.